Hello folks and welcome to this Minecraft modded Proton Let's Play where we're playing some Minecraft 1.10.2 Survival Modded Minecraft <laughs> Hope you're alright. We're going here through our Christmas village. It's very nice. And uh, today, today, well, first of all, today, we're going to sort out some power. Okay, last time we uh, set up our water wheel here in the river. Uh, and of course, uh, there's no building around it yet, and the river kind of sort of ends here, but we'll fix that at a later point in time. For now, we're going to um, try and connect this here up to our main power cables, or main power axles. So that we don't need to rely on that thing over there, the windmill anymore. And uh, I think, I reckon there's gonna come a wall here. Probably. So, uh, we we'll probably wanna have a gearbox here. Here, sorry. And then let that go down on the ground. From here. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll be sufficient. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> Hoping against all large guys, alright? So then uh, we're gonna need let's see one, two, three gearbox. So we're gonna actually need a gearbox here. Like that. Like that, right? And then we can go down here and continue. Now uh, what else are we gonna do today guys? Well, um I don't know if you're aware, but chisel and bits contain. Sorry, proton contains chisel and bits. No! No, 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 no. No water down here, please. <laughs> That's the river, isn't it? Okay. Uh, on the side. On the side. On the side, we. Yeah, chisel and bits. And I thought it would be good fun. Um, I really did. To try and. Um, so if we go sort of that way, we should run into it sooner or later. Actually, we might want to... Uh, do I have no axes? You know what, guys? My axes keep disappearing. It's really strange. I swear I had an axe. It was a rubbish axe, but it was an axe. I don't know what's going on with that, guys. I really don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so I thought we could try our best here to create something with chisel and bits in the spirit of Christmas guys okay so uh, that's gonna be our second oh <laughs> our second objective for the day right and uh, then we'll see what else we have time for now let's see there and there One, two, three. I don't know if I have enough of uh, these thingamajiggies we'll see we well, should be able to go straight on here. I have, I think, estimated the uh, Y level of this accurately. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> I hope so. What was that? Clay. Yes, please. Clay is of the essence here. So we're getting near now, guys, to where we actually want to set up an automated Hellforge steel, Soulforge steel production. And for that we need quite a lot of clay, among other things. So uh, that's why I'm eager to collect such resources. And uh, I'm using my silk touch pick. I really need to, um, you know, not do that really. But hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. We'll do it. I don't have another pick on my person. Let's see how far it is here. Let's, let's just go this way. Another cave. We might have a little, little adventure here, who knows? Straight down into the abyss, guys. Straight down into the abyss. And gold. Yeah. If this was Prime Fools, I would be all over that, because gold is what I'm lacking in Prime Fools. But here, not so important. So, uh, I hope you're getting into the Christmas spirit, guys. <laughs> uh, and I hope, really hope, that you enjoy 
my Lionheart stuff. I'm going to have to go down there later. Lionheart stuff. It's so exciting to be on a new server, guys. Really, really cool. I love it over there. And so if you see quite a lot of Lionheart stuff um, currently, I hope that's okay with you, because I love it. I do have a shovel, however. Let's use that. Um, and uh, you know, I'm I'm having a glorious time. I'm having a glorious time. Oh, what's this? <laughs> this is my old water stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're right by um, right by the um, warehouse now. So now we're gonna get to oh, go underneath the warehouse here. That's all right. I should be fine. That should be fine. This is the underneath where I've terraformed. I might have cheated a little bit and uh, left a layer of dirt under there, uh, or a layer of air even. But, you know, that's how we do. So, and then we come over here, and that is where we want to connect it to, guys. That's where we kind of want to connect it to. So we'll do that. Alright, so this is all connected up now, but, but, I have uh, overseen, I have missed a thing. These are directional, these fellas. So if we do that, then everything that way is going to get power, but not everything this way. You know what, it's time to basically say bye-bye to the to relying on the um, uh, windmill. So we're going to actually change the direction of all of these, and henceforth everything is going to be powered by water power. That's how it is, guys. That's how it is. So as we change the direction here, all the things like the sawmill and all that sort of stuff is going to start working. And uh, yeah, I need to show you what this does as well, this over here, this fork. Because I haven't shown you that. Oops, I haven't shown you that. And it is fairly interesting stuff. So uh, I, I, um, yeah, we're crossing the water stream here again, by the way. <laughs> A little while ago, I took down our kill, if you recall. I'll do that later. Um, we took down the, the kiln, and uh, yeah, but then I needed, of course, uh, more sulfur steel, so I set this thing up. And this is pretty darn interesting, if you ask me, uh, because uh, this here clock is a turntable with a redstone torch, block with a redstone torch on it. So if we flip the lever here, you see that everything here starts moving, and we get um, stoked fire here, stoked fire, because of this thing here. Um, so that turns around, thus creating a block for the bellows. Uh, but I discovered, even when I did it with the redstone clock, I discovered that this sort of stuff happens, right? This sort of stuff happens, and it's annoying. So I've tried to s sort it out with the, with the help of two bellows. But it's not working perfectly, it's not. It's working better because I have three as well. But you know, see, that would have reset everything, right? So that's a bit annoying, that is. And I'm still working on the perfect setup for that. But uh, yeah, this is kind of my experimental area, right? But you can see here, sort of roughly the sort of size that we're going to need. Um, plus a little bit more, because we want to automate this. So we want to be able to place um, things in here. So we want to place uh, soul urns and um, iron ingots and coal dust, and we want to automate the production of coal dust. We want to recycle these urns so that they get automatically filled with souls, and we want to do some things like that. But that's for another time, guys. That's for another time. For now, I will just sort out this power thing, and then we will be right back. Do some chisel and bits. Alright, so chisel and bits, guys. This is what we got in chisel from chisel and bits in Proton. I think it's most of the things that you usually have, so there are chisels, varying kind. We're going to create a diamond one in a minute. We're just going to create some sticks first, apparently. So a chisel is what you use to pick up bits from blocks, basically. And then we have these uh, designs, which are basically some stuff with paper, varying stuff, okay? And they are used to save uh, chisel patterns. Now this thing here, this thing here is a uh, a pouch, and we need some wool for that. Where is my wool? 
I wonder. Should be over here. Uh, and that's because you get enormous amounts of uh, bits when you when you chisel a block down. Um, why are you saying I have no wool? That's ridiculous. I have a whole sheep from over there. Where's my wool? Oh, there's a bit. So let's see. We create this thing with a chisel bit and some wool. Okay, so we need to chisel away a bit. So let's try this thing out. All right. So. Um, if you see here, when I ha have my chisel in place, we can take up bits with left click. Yay! Like this. There are more things we can do in a minute, because this is fairly fiddly, isn't it? Uh, but let's make this pouch first of all, right? So, pouch. Yay, pouch. And I guess if we have this in, a, in our inventory, the bits will automatically end up in there rather than in our in here. So let's see. Let's put that in. How do we put that in? No. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry guys. Aha! Right click. Okay, so we can put all all our uh, bits in there. Chiseled bit vertical. Where did I get that one? What have I chiseled? Have I destroyed my build? <laughs> anyway, guys, so that's part of it, right? Uh, but if you see here, there's also this thing, and I've not realized, but there is a wrench in this game from chiseling bits, and you can turn blocks around, and that would have been so handy, that will be so handy, for those pesky um, gearboxes, you know? So let's look at this, let's try this out. Right click, and we turn this thing around. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can use it on all sorts of blocks. No, not that one. Uh, how about the stair? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so handy. Oh man, I'm happy that I discovered that. Took me a while. You could have commented, guys. You could have commented. And finally, we have well, we have the tape measure which we've seen before as well. But we have this diamond bit saw, and hovering over it, it says cut along any of the three. Axis. So uh, I reckon we should make uh, one of these as well. Uh, we need some more sticks. Sticks, please. Thank you. And then we have here the saw. So let's see what this thing does. I reckon it'll uh, take a, off a whole slice or something. Oh. oh wow, look at these uh, visual bugs here. <laughs> the chest is thrown before the block here. After, after, after. Okay, so I can't seem to make this work. Never mind the saw for now. Finally, we also have this uh, chisel bit fluid tank. And if we make this, we can put water or lava or something like that in. And then we can actually get bits out of that as well. And that is, in my opinion, really shiny. Uh, so let's see, we need some glass, a log, and some iron for that one. So let's get a piece of iron. Do I have any glass laying about? That's what I want to know. No. Uh, uh, log. I do have logs. I do have logs. We might have to uh, go and smelt up some glass. I have some panes there. Well, I'll sort that out, guys. Okay, and this is a piece of marble, of course. I'm not, I'm not sure we're going to use marble for this. What we are planning to do. I just love to do this. This is so fun. <laughs> and I think you can do other things as well. I think with the, if you shift, you can then sh set this thing to take away whole planes. Like that. Yeah. And then if you shift again, it goes back to a bit, plane, bit, large cube, medium cube. All right, yeah, yeah, so if I want to take out a big chunk, I can do that, like that. Man, I can see myself having quite a lot of fun with this, guys. Obviously demolishing this poor marble block, right? But I'm just testing it. See, there we go. <laughs> I've made a dent in the floor. Sorry, floor. Yeah, we need a setup for this. We need a setup. We need we need like an artist's shop at some point in this village. 
That's what we need. Uh, and then you can anyway, you can pick this block up. You can uh, walk around with it. And then you can say, oh, I want to have my very artistic creation over here on the town square instead of this here torch. Yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Okay, guys, so I'm going to try and make a snow lantern. And I'll be back and show you my progress. Bear in mind, guys, this might be catastrophic, all right? <laughs> guys, I could do this for hours. This is so much fun, guys. <laughs> but wow, what a time sink. Chisel and bits. Wow. Hours. And yeah, this is what I have. I have a snowball. <laughs> which I have inscribed, I think, onto this uh, positive chisel design. So if we go out here and uh, we think, well, okay, well, actually, somebody has built a snowball there. We just place a, a block there, any block. And then we go right click and it replaces it with the snowball so we can place a couple of these around here of course i think they look pretty all right to be honest i mean they're simple but uh, you know it's my first time using chisel and bits <laughs> uh, but then i have this thing as well and this thing is a the beginnings anyway so the snow lamp i can't really I don't really know how to continue with it without just it's too detailed for me at the moment but what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and inscribe this thing as well and then we should be able to place some of these and it's so cool right because they emit light as well i think because i have glowstone in them right but they emit less light than they otherwise would have done maybe they don't maybe i'm wrong about that i don't think i am though let's see here do i have any do I have any more? Uh, let's see. First of all, I discovered you can press Alt and then select here as well, which is really cool. So if we select some more glowstone bits, like this, maybe make the candle a little bit taller. I'm not sure they did in the light. No? Okay, I'm wrong. Ah, I'm wrong. <laughs> Oops. I think I just got some dirt. That's the risk though. You have to build this in this area that you're not too precious about. Yeah, I did. But can you see that though? When I pick up a bit from this... Uh, where's my chisel? When I pick up a bit from this, it transforms the whole block into a chisel and bits block. But if I then replace it, it transforms it back to a normal block. I think it's really cool. Anyway, guys, we're going to place some of these up in our Christmas village here. Maybe some here as well. Well, we're going to remove, we're going to replace this thing first of all. Because <laughs> that is hideous. Uh, <laughs> and then we can place one here. And it takes bits from what I got. So I might have to get some more stuff in a minute. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe we'll have one here. Yeah, that's fine. You get so many bits from one block even, so that uh, it's, it's, it's pretty alright, you know. You right click to place them. Okay, I keep forgetting that. And where else do we want one? Would we want one here as well? Yeah, why not? Why not, you know? I forget it again. And up by our own little hut here as well. Yes. We're going to have very many oak bits when I'm done with this. So, like that, yeah. That doesn't look too bad. I think that looks great. You know, for a first timer. So, I think that's going to have to be it for today though, guys. So, what have we done? We have connected our water wheel to our power source. So we no longer rely on the windmill. And then we have made a, some sort of snow lantern and a snowball with chisel and bits. And uh, I had tons of fun, guys. Tons of fun. Alright? You did as well. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. And uh, let me know if uh, you have any chisel designs you would like to share with me. Yeah, send me a screenshot or something. 
Uh, I'm on Twitter as well, so tweet me there. Uh, and uh, until then, guys, I will see you next time. Bye!